All right. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. We're almost out of here, Akim. So just pray fast, do whatever need be to stay in this truth and push this word as hard as you can. But with this lesson today, we'll be getting in, uh, getting on to you uh, false prophets out there. Not just in the nation of Israel and these other camps, but uh, to you other uh, false prophets out there and maybe the church of Christianity, whatever philosophy you may be in, because uh, things are about to turn sour for you very shortly. I mean, it's already starting to turn sour for you. A lot of you uh, mega church pastors are losing a lot of money and a lot of sleep over this truth because a lot of jakes are waking up to... Uh, not only to the fact that they're Israelites, but what the true doctrine is, which is through GMS, a great millstone. Right. So that's why we're going to see a lot of you false prophets come against us in these latter days. And we're ready for it because uh, you're just one more uh, little hitch in the road before Esau comes towards us. Because we're just going to cut you up with the scriptures because you don't know it. All you know is prophet signs. Yeah, the Lord is, the Lord is going to allow these, uh, these people to come against us also to weed out the unwanted, man. Cause a lot of people in that day, man, going, going, they're gonna listen to their mama, or gonna listen to whoever in their family, and uh, uh and it's gonna weed out the unwanted, man. Cause ni niggas gonna get scared. So this really gonna be a, a, a basically an enlightenment, man, towards this knowledge. You know, Kinda, and we're gonna see how it's gonna go. We're gonna start off with First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse thirty-two, and I'm gonna say real quick. The true doctrine is out there to all you people out there that say, oh, we, we don't know the name of the true doctrine. We're just going to have to put it piece by piece. Right. But read it. First Corinthians 14 and 32. It says, and the, pro and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Point blank period. The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. This goes into the reincarnation. So the brothers such as Isaiah, Jeremiah, all the way down to the other prophets are back here today in that same lot with a better understanding of this doctrine, pushing it forth and waking up the elect. And they're, they're through uh, mainly GMS, a great millstone, which you can clearly see because right. anybody that comes against us, we cut up whatever they have to say, and we're the only ones that are truly edifying out there with history, scripture, and what's going on in the current events, right. what's uh, going on with the her herbs, mm -hmm. with the language, what have you. That's right, man. And read verse 33. Yeah, it says, For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace and this as in all churches of the saints. For the Most High is not the author of confusion. So if, you've, uh, if you're of that number, you can clearly see what the true doctrine is, and you're not being confused by all these other wayward doctrines. Right. Right. And just to further hammer in the point before we get further in the topic, we're going to get Luke chapter 1 and 70 to just show that that true doctrine is out here, and those prophets are back out here in their same lot. Yeah, it says uh, Luke 1 and 70, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Which have been since the world began. So just again further with that reincarnation. The prophets have been here in the past all the way back to the times of Noah, even in the Garden of Eden. So all you other false prophets out there, y'all are just reprobates. That's right, man. And the Lord going to weed you out, man. You know? Which you're already starting to get weeded out. That's right. But you have to have uh, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on you uh, working with you that you can see that. That's but right. we know through the scriptures that you false prophets would come in the last days, come out of the woodworks to try to lead astray the flock for your own vain thoughts or for that filthy lucre's sake. That's right. That's as it right. says in Matthew 24, verse 11. Come, come. Uh, Matthew 24 and 11. It says, And many false prophets shall, uh, shall rise. And shall deceive many. And we're seeing that right now. Yeah. With all you uh, scoffers in the comments section coming with all these uh, milk milk based ideas in the scriptures that you should know by now if you were uh, if you were rocking with the true doctrine. But uh, clearly that's not the case. You're being led astray by these false prophets. That's right. Do you have anything to say? Uh? Oh no no no. Let me get this Isaiah 50, 56 and ten. Mm hmm. And you uh, scoffers in the comments should just stop now because you always come with the same things. You always come with, oh, we're uh, black-only Israelites or uh, that Esau can be saved or anything like that. Just just be quiet. Yeah, we didn't already went into all those different things. So 
if you don't believe it, then it's obvious that you just, you just a reprobate, man. And you just meant to be destroyed, man. And the heavenly father is going to give you exactly what you deserve. And you're going to be destroyed along with those false prophets that have led you astray. Mm -hmm. And I can see now why the Bible's uh, repetitive, why it says the same thing over and over again, because you hard-headed people just don't seem to get it. Right, right, right. And now we're just going to get into cutting you uh, false prophets out there. This is Isaiah uh, 56. We're going to start at verse 10. It says, um, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs, a fucking animal. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. That's a lot of you pastors in these churches. You have a whole sermon where you have one precept, and then you go, you freestyle for an hour and a half, just waiting to get that teeth money, and just waiting to, uh, waiting for the service to be over so you can eat that catfish dinner. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's obvious that this scripture speaks volumes, man. You know, it's obvious that this scripture speak volumes because you can clearly see that because when we go into the scriptures and, uh, and go into how all these different things is about this and about that, y'all just ignore it, man. So it's obvious the scriptures say y'all lovers of being stuck, y'all lovers of being slumber, you know, and it's obvious that you want your congregation to be asleep and of course you're asleep, man. To any of you people out there that may still be in the church listening to this video, go ask your pastor how to break down some of the books in Revelation and see if he's a, a slothful slumberer or if he's truly a man of the Lord. Now, come on, brother. You know that book still. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's exactly what they're going to say because uh, they love to lie down and sleep that's and right. lull y'all to sleep and, again, just get that teeth money. It says, yay. They are greedy dogs. Point blank period. Right after I said it. All they want is that teeth money and to pop your woman in that church. Cause that's all what those, those pastors are about. That's why they had a show called Hollywood. It's a, uh, pastors of Hollywood. Because America, like we got to understand something. In this place called America, man, it's nothing but jokes here, man. That Those, those people that call themselves pa pastors are fucking jokes, man. Can't take them serious. I mean, it, it's, it's sad to watch. It's like just to see him dance around and holler and have that sweet boy on the organ, then have you, you nigger woman run, running up and down the aisles. Yeah. It's, a, it's a shame that you're ashamed of the nation of Israel. You're ashamed of Yehovah Shem Yahushai. It says, Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Mm -hmm. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Because y'all don't have the truth and y'all are leading your flock astray. Y'all are leading them to destruction. They, they, what they call themselves? Gentiles. No, they call themselves, if you want to go deeper and ask them, what nation are y'all from? A lot of you pastors have those jakes in those churches thinking they're Hamites. It's crazy, man. Yeah, because just, I never hear them going to, uh, they want to say that they, excuse me, they, they want to say that they believe in the scriptures. Well, what nation in the scriptures do you go back to, man? I never hear him speak on these things, you know? Don't nobody never question it. Don't nobody ever ask about it. They motherfuckers be sitting up in there listening to Proverbs all day. Hey, and a lot of y'all, that shows that a lot of y'all have that 501c3 because you constantly push that black hemetic spirit. Yeah. Oh, we are, we're the cursed of the Bible because yeah. we got dark skin. But if you would read the Bible, you know what the real cursed skin color is. That leprosy, yeah. that white as snow, Edomite skin color. It is right here. They all look to their own way. Not the scripture way. Read the next part, it'll... Hammer it in. Everyone for his gain... Those, and, for, and for his uh, and from and from his uh, quarter, those hundred dollar suits, those private jets, those private helicopters, those uh, women, what have you? Try the fanciest pork. Exactly, the kosher pork. <laughs> that kosher pork. It says, "Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and I will fill ourselves with strong drink." And that's talking about doctrine, man. Mm-hmm. And that's what y'all do, man. All y'all do is follow in the ways of the 501c3 charter, which is ultimately Esau's way, man. That plantation Christianity, man. That stay sleep Christianity, man. Don't you know that uh 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 who, who you people look towards as what what the guy name was? Uh, birth of a nation. 
uh, Nat, Nat, Nat Turner, Turner. He, he died for uh, falling away from that, uh, that understanding, man. And, and nine times out of ten, we going to die for not falling, I mean, for not walking into that understanding, man. You know? But you pastors, y'all want to live uh, lavish, y'all want to be greedy, y'all want to just tell people anything. And the Heavenly Father going to bring that, that pressure to you. You want to, you'll want that spot that Nat Turner had before he started the rebellion where all he yeah. had to do was go in front of the congregation and lie to him and lull him back to sleep. And Master would give him a nice suit and some better, uh, a little bit of better food. But he had some understanding of the scriptures and went against it. And as the brother just said, he died for it. And there's a good, and there's more than a good chance that a lot of us are going to die for it. Or and not more than a good chance. A lot of uh, the true prophets, the true men of the Lord, are going to be martyrs in this thing. That's right, man. Not all going to die, but some are. Mm -hmm. And there's no if and buts about it. And we could be in that. We could be those people. Hey, but at least we're we're taking a chance. That's right. Because yeah, I mean, exactly. it, we either. By us uh, taking a chance in this thing, there's really no negatives. Look, if we die, we die in the truth, so we go on those chariots. That's right. If we man. live, we get beamed up, and we go on those chariots anyway. And honestly, the time that we're going into, why would you want to be on the side of Esau anyway, man? We're going into some harsh and some radical times, man. Worse than the days of Noah. That's right. And it says, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Mm-hmm. You think this gravy train's gonna go on forever, but y'all are sadly mistaken. Yeah. That's what we're about to get into in Jeremiah chapter 23. I'm gonna start at verse 14. It says, oh, let me get to it. Jeremiah 23 and 14. It says, where am I? I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies by rocking on Esau's vibration with that 501c3 plantation Christianity doctrine keeping you Jake's docile they strengthen also the hands of the hands of evildoers Esau the so-called white man trying to keep this American Babylonian system up it says whew, it says wait, 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 it says they that none do it return from his wickedness. Like a lot of you Jakes in those churches, a lot of y'all are gonna die in the, on your wicked, uh, vain, deceitful yes, thoughts. Right, right, right. Still right. thinking that you're a, a fucking Hamite or that uh, Jesus Christ is uh, the true face of the Lord. Yeah, and it says, and they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the uh, the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. And what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah for their wickedness? They were taken out with that fire and brimstone, which y'all, you reprobates that, that don't come back to the truth, y'all are going to be taken out with that modern fire and brimstone, which is going to be those nuclear-tipped ICBMs, which is coming very shortly. It says, Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, Mm -hmm. and will make them drink the water of God. And this is just the beginning of your punishments. All With uh, GMS out there on the highways and byways and on YouTube pushing this word, everybody's starting to see how much of a false prophet you yeah, are. Yeah. You're, you're getting shown for the charlatan that you are, that you're just pushing that doctrine, that uh, propaganda Esau to keep the Israelites from coming back to the truth. But it's not working anymore. That's why Esau is putting a gun to your head telling you, look, Go against these Hebrew Israelites, and we're going to take everything from you, nigger. That's right. That's right. It says, "For from the, for from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane is gone forth into all the land." Mm-hmm. And all the places where Jake dwells, because you got all those. Uh, you pretty much, if you go through the hood, you got a, like five churches on one block. Yes, sir. So that poison, that wine, is just everywhere to keep Jake drunk. Sure, and you don't. And them, them, hey man, them churches don't help nothing, man, because they got a liquor store on the next corner and some rock is standing out of it. So what is that church really doing, man? And you don't, and you really don't have any Jake-owned businesses in the hood. What do you have? Some some Arab gas stations or convenience stores where they feed you uh, fried catfish and fried chicken to kill you up, kill you, and uh, just pretty much just kill right, you, clog up your arteries. Pork chop sandwiches and shit. That's what y'all eating up in there, s s s standing right up the block from a church, man. And you think the pastor give a fuck about any of y'all? No, man. 
He just care, cares about his per, uh, personal gain.